Yeah, he's real comfortable, <laughs> you know. <laughs> How, how's this year been for you, sitting out and, and just basically being able to just practice? Um, the biggest thing is just a learning year. Um, I just have to come every day prepared to just get these guys better and get myself better and know that it's my time next year. And you know, I just have to keep learning the system and just learn more about myself every day. Yeah, it's a big help. It just lets you know that you're not alone. You know, it lets you know that you're not the only one going through this and it gives you a chance to push Delano and Shamil better and well, they get to push me to get better as well. What do you make your impact then this year? How, how are you impacting this team? Uh, just leadership, just building on leadership every day, you know, bringing energy to these guys when they don't have it. Um, just always having them just playing hard, talking, being defensive, just flying around. How much have you taken on that mentorship role for the big guys in particular, obviously both freshmen playing this year? Um, a lot, but I can. I feel like I can still step up. You know, there's they're freshmen, you know, there's a lot of things that they need to learn and they, they're going to learn it, and they've been learning it. You know, they're good. They, they listen. They're two good young fellas. You know, they, they listen. They're ready to learn. They're ready to be coached, and they just want to be here and play hard. What, what did the coaching staff kind of say they wanted you to work on uh, in, in your own game in this year? Um, just just kind of everything, you know, ball handling, shooting especially, um, fine tune my post game. You know, just, just anything that I, I like in, there's no wrong with getting better in it, you know. Is it tough to have a voice, I guess, on, on the team when you're you're not playing in games? I mean, how do you kind of balance that? Uh, sometimes it can be tough, but someone has to do it, you know. And, and I'll take that role whenever, whenever I need to take that role, you know, because that's just the type of person I am. But yeah, someone has to be that person, you know. And if no one's that person, then you practice don't run smoothly or games don't run smoothly. So you always need that person on the team. How much of a, of a different challenge is it to? grind and get better when you don't have that reward of a game? Uh, it's a lot, you know, like I said earlier, it's just the mental part of it, just knowing like you're getting better even if you don't feel like it, even if even, even though you can't showcase it in game from time to time, but you just gotta know that you're getting better every day. Have you started to kind of think about what it's gonna look like next year with, with you guys out there, with these guys? Yeah, we, I think about it all the time, you know, that's the, that's the only thing I think about, you know, it, it sucks sitting out, but I have to do it and I know that I have to just get better so we can have a great season next year along with Delano and Chanel. Now, are you, are you intent to give it to these guys in practice a little bit? Yeah, I got to go at them every day. Because <laughs> if I don't go at them, they don't get better. In the same way, if they don't go at me, we don't get better. So it's just competition. You, you need competition. The, the guys this year have kind of you know, had some tough games. But I mean, do, do you see it kind of starting to come together and, and go the right direction for um, you? We have a good team, you know. Um, it's just. I feel like our biggest thing is when we don't come prepared and take our challenge lightly because we've shown it that we can run with anybody, you know. So I think it's just a team mindset. If we come with the right mindset to every game, then we can, we can do anything we achieve, we want.